up you guys i am back to work starting off with a eight day trip um, just commercialed in can you tell where i am <laughs> just commercialed in to honolulu it is currently 12 30 p.m uh commercialed in with my crew uh we were on united airlines vegas to la la to honolulu flights were pretty good um was able to get upgraded to first class on the short leg and then the longer leg the la to honolulu uh, I was sat next to um, the crying child, so wasn't that fun. We're gonna change clothes and then meet my crewmate downstairs because we are hungry, so we're gonna get some food. Alright, so we have the little open closet area here, and then just like a full size bed, the little seating area. At least I got a fridge, and I have partial view. Well, I got the pool view and then partial view of Waikiki over there, and that's the zoo. But it's a rainy day today. TV and then bathroom. Here's lunchies. I got to show you chicken, tripe stew, mac salad rice, and squid luau. I almost got the same thing. She got poi and nomi salmon as well. Oh, and color. All right guys, it is 9.15 p.m. Just got back from hanging out with one of my friends. Um, so after lunch, um, we went to a uh, grocery store, Foodland, uh, to get some food for the uh, flight tomorrow. And then came back to the hotel at about five o'clock and then my friend that lives here picked me up and then we were supposed to go for dinner, but I was so full from lunch. Um, I actually just had dessert and then she had dinner and we just uh, catched up, you know, talk story and then brought me back to the hotel. So tomorrow we're going to ferry the aircraft to Guam and then we have a 30 hour layover there. The van is coming at 4.30 in the morning because our ferry flight tomorrow is at 6 a.m. So. All right guys, made it to Guam. It is currently 2.30 p.m. Um, we actually left Honolulu late. We had a little bit of a mechanical issue. So we left like three hours late. Uh, we're supposed to have left at 6 a.m. We left at 9 a.m. So got here a little later than we're supposed to, um, but we are here. It's a beautiful uh, sunny day. It's a little windy, um, 85 degrees, uh, but it was a seven hour flight and um, I slept on and off. Um, I'm a little tired, like I could use a little nap, so I'll see. Um, but I wanna take a shower and freshen up a little bit and maybe eat something. Um, but yeah, so made it here to Guam. Um, you've seen this hotel room many times, so no need any introduction to this hotel room, but always have the best views here. Good morning guys, it is 5.30 a.m. Um, totally knocked out yesterday after the beach. So I hung out with my crewmate uh, for a couple hours, um, just having fun, hanging out by the beach, um, in the water a little bit. And then um, got back to the hotel room at about 5.30 p.m. And then we're gonna go to a happy hour, but I totally knocked out because, um, you know, sometimes being out on the beach and the sun, it just drains you. And then I woke up at like 3.30 a.m. And then I've been up ever since. So um, just been kind of organizing my luggage, um, getting ready for today, because today we have to work. So I'm just gonna stay up till breakfast. I think we're gonna go breakfast maybe about 8, 8.30. Um, so today we are working um, Guam back to Honolulu, and we're just doing a turn. And then we're gonna ferry the plane back here. And I'm gonna do that for the next two days, three days, it's gonna be like that. Uh, work over to Honolulu, ferry back. Work over to Honolulu, ferry back. All right guys, it is that time, time to head to work. So today, um, 4.15 van time, um, we have a 6.15 p.m. departure, working Guam to Honolulu. We should get into Honolulu at about 5.30 a.m. in the morning. 
Then we're just going to turn around and ferry the plane right back here. And we should get in back into Guam at about 1.45 p.m. Um, we are a crew of nine, um, 777 aircraft, and I think we're expecting about 300 passengers. So hopefully everything goes smoothly. Nice, quick, easy flight. Flight time should be about seven hours. guys made it back to Guam. It is currently 4 p.m. Um, the flight today, uh, we left actually two hours late. Um, there was an issue with our slide, emergency slide on one of our doors, the R4 door. So mechanics were trying to fix that. So fortunately, we left uh, two hours late. Um, we made up some time in the air. Flight time was about seven hours uh, and some change, I think. And then, no, flight time was like six hours. We had about 250 passengers. And then um, other than the delay, uh, flight was good. Passengers were good. We did two meal services and then got to Honolulu. Passengers deplaned. And then we had about two hours ground time and then ferried the plane back here. The ferry flight was about seven hours, almost eight. So it was pretty long. Um, kind of exhausted, but when I probably go to the beach, I think. Um, it's a short rest. I had to change hotel rooms too. Um, so today, van time is going to be at 4.15 a.m. We have a 6.15 a.m. departure, working back to Honolulu. We're going to get there about 5.30 p.m. and then turn around and ferry the plane back here to Guam. And then we're at a different hotel though. Um, but yeah, so I was restless on the ferry flight over, kind of in and out of sleep. Um, but my crewmates want to go to the beach for a little bit, so I think I'm going to hurry up and change, go to the beach a little bit so that I can come back and rest and be ready for the flight tomorrow morning, early morning. It is about 7 p.m. and just came back from having some appetizers uh, with my crewmates. So since I talked to you last, um, I didn't end up going to the beach. Um, I just ended up meeting my crewmates at 5.30 at the executive lounge because um, we have executive lounge access here and they have like food and drinks and things like that, um, like appetizer stuff. So just was hanging out with them for a little bit. But right before that... Uh, I actually am in a new room. I had to request a new room because as I was unpacking, or I pretty much had unpacked everything in the other room, um, I could smell like my, I had the adjoining room and I could smell smoke and I was coming under the door into my room and I'm like, uh-uh, not having this. So went downstairs and asked for a new room. So they got me a new room. So then I had to come upstairs and pack up all my stuff so I just threw stuff in whatever bag just to pack everything up and came to the new room and just dropped everything off because then I had to go meet my crewmates so now I'm back in the room and I have to reorganize everything again oh, the air just kicked on so hopefully it's not too long but yeah so I'm gonna have to reorganize everything um I ordered me some dinner I just picked that up um company I was paying for dinner tonight so got some dinner and then I'm just gonna probably eat that and then go to bed because we have early show time at 4 15 a.m. so I just ordered some fries which I'm munching on right now as I organize my room um, I got a sack of Chinese chicken salad and then a coconut calamansi cooler drink which is really good um, and refreshing calamansi is like a Filipino like lime or lemon and then some coconut flavoring. So that'll be, I think I'm just gonna eat the french fries for now because I eat all that other stuff at the executive lounge. I mean, maybe I'll save this for the plane tomorrow. I'll see. Good morning, guys. It is 3.30 a.m. Slowly getting ready for work. Um, woke up with the chickens this morning. I can hear them outside. <laughs> That's how you know when you're on the islands. You can hear the chickens in the mornings. Um, 
another work day, another working flight to Honolulu, and then ferry back. Let's go. All right, guys, made it to Honolulu. It is currently 6 p.m. Uh, flight time was seven hours. We had 312 passengers. Yes, it was a full house. Uh, we worked hard on this flight. We worked really hard. Um, just a pretty small flight. Um, one issue, we had one clogged toilet, but that was towards the end of the flight, so that was good. Um, so now, I think we're gonna depart at 9. 30 p.m. I don't know why we're on the ground for so long. So yeah, so we're gonna head back to Guam and then do it all over again tomorrow. Come right back here to Honolulu. All right, I'll see you guys back in Guam. All right, guys, made it back to Guam. It is 3 a.m. I'm so exhausted. It was a 21-hour duty day. Although I didn't realize yesterday because of the delay that was a 22-hour duty day. But for some reason today seemed a little longer. I guess because we had the four-hour sit or ground time in Honolulu um, but ferry flight over was 7 hours 46 minutes I slept for most of it um, but of course um, I want good sleep in a bed so um, yeah flight was good working flight was good we had I think I told you 312 passengers um, we worked we worked on that flight we did two meal services it was yeah it was a when you have that many passengers, it's a lot, it's a lot. But we did it, we worked as a team as always, and no issues with any passengers, and then just the issue with uh, one of the lavatories clogging. But they fixed it when we went to, when we got to Honolulu. Um, anywho, so back in Guam, um, we're at a new hotel. Oh, actually, it's a rent, it's an old hotel, but it was renovated, so it's nice and new in the interior. This room is pretty nice, so let me do a quick room tour. And then um, I need to shower and head to bed. Uh, van time is going to be at 4.15 p.m. tomorrow. And we work back to Honolulu. All right, so you got the entrance there. And then the bathroom. Watch this. Every time you turn the light switch on, the toilet does that. Now it's armed and ready for you so you can go about and do your business. And the shower. I guess this is good so that I don't roll off the bed tonight. And then I'll show you the view tomorrow morning because it's, you know, it's dark outside. So I will show you guys that later. It is 7.30 a.m. Got some restless sleep. So I'm going to go downstairs and get breakfast, make myself full. And then I think I'll go walk along the beach for a little bit and then come back to my room and then see if I can take a nap before it's time to head back out to work. They had a really good buffet breakfast and I could stay there and eat all day. Um, but just gonna hang out at the beach for a little bit. My crewmates are at the pool so I'm gonna meet them at the pool right now. Alright peoples, it is 4 p.m. It is that time to head back out to work again. Um, time to say goodbye to Guam. Uh, so my schedule was updated and uh, once I get to Honolulu, it's gonna be a short layover and then um, I am being sent home. So they're gonna commercial me home on, I think I'm on United. Yeah, I think I'm on United, back to Vegas. Um, once I get back to Vegas, um, I am still on reserve. I am on reserve until the 16th. Then I go into my off days, so we'll see if um, I get another trip. This is the same flight like we did the other day 
two days ago. So it's uh, 6.15 p.m. departure, getting into Honolulu at 5.30 a.m. in the morning. Uh, we've been on the same aircraft the whole time, the 777, and we've uh, had the same crew uh, the whole time, a crew of nine. So I think we're expecting about another 300 passengers on this flight. So probably going to be another busy, busy flight. But um, once we get to Honolulu, at least we can rest for a little bit and then go home and then rest over there. But um, I will see you guys uh, when we get to Honolulu. All right, made it to Honolulu. It is currently 8.30 a.m. Uh, we actually got in at about 5.30 a.m., um, but you know, we gotta wait till passengers to plane, and then van pickup and all that, and there was a little bit of traffic because of Honolulu uh, morning traffic. But I made it to the hotel, and um, so we had about 212 passengers. Uh, flight time was about six hours and 36 minutes, I think it was, and um, um, yeah, two meal services, um, pretty cool flight, although at the end, upon landing, I got sprayed with a Pepsi because someone's Pepsi came rolling down the aisle like an unopened can, hit the bulkhead where I was sitting and sprayed me all over my left side. So I have like high fructose corn syrup like all on this side here. So that wasn't fun, but anyways we made it here to honolulu um i've stayed at this hotel before but it seemed like they renovated because everything smells new like has like the smell of new carpet and everything here looks all kind of bright and shiny and new so it's pretty nice this room and there's a big room too but um as always with the nice hotel rooms there's a short layover because you know we're going to be leaving commercially now tonight back home to vegas which is all cool but i'm going to quickly go change because they have um, breakfast uh downstairs so I think we're all gonna change and then uh, meet at breakfast. All right, guys, I got my banana. I always wanted to try this. This is like kind of like yogurt made from banana it's non-dairy and it got like macadamia nut butter and some fruit and there's all different kinds um so much for my nap because it's like 10 o'clock right now so after breakfast i was gonna shower and take a nap but they're doing renovating the rooms like below me and i can hear power tools and all that so after my shower i kind of had second wind so i decided to just go out get my banana so excited to eat it and then um some of my crewmates were out walking, so um, I met up with them. So just gonna go walk around, maybe shop for some gifty things for some people, some peeps back home, and then maybe get some food for the plane, and then go back to the room and take a nap until it's time for showtime. Hey guys, it's 4.15 p.m. I just woke up from my nap. So earlier today, um, I just went out and walked around Waikiki for a little bit. Um, went shopping for some snacks and some food for the plane. Um, so now I'm just gonna eat some of that food and then um, get ready um, and then go downstairs for the shuttle. So the shuttle's gonna come at like 6 p.m. Um, our flight departure, uh, we're commercialing on United Airlines uh, at 8.45 p.m. through Los Angeles. We have a three-hour ground time in Los Angeles. And then continue on to Vegas, and then I should get into Vegas at about 9.30 a.m. Uh, in the morning. Um, but I'm probably going to end the vlog here. Um, this was an eight-day trip, so... Um, Pretty cool trip, working island to island, um, Oahu to Guam, back and forth. 
um, my schedule did get updated, so when I get back to Vegas, I am uh, on reserve for four days, and then I got assigned um, another trip already. Um, it's a five-day trip, but I will let you guys know the details on that one later. So for now, um, I'll end this vlog here, and um, yeah, so another great trip, another great trip. But, oh yeah, let me quickly show you what I got to eat. So I bought like this seared tuna noodle salad thingy. And then I got me a spam musubi for the plane and a coconut water. Alright, so I'll end this vlog here and I'll see you on the next one. Aloha.